This video is primarily meant for first year MBA students and will help them in the course quantitative technique or business statistics. I'm going to be explaining things from a very basic level so that somebody who's not studied maths in their 10th or 12th grades or 10th or 12th standard will also be comfortable following these sessions. Right? So it's going to be done from a very elementary level so that people with you know not much of an exposure to max after 10th standard will also be able to follow along so this particular video is on measures of central tendency right so before we begin let's create a data set okay so let's keep it simple let's have five numbers in our data set okay so data set has got five numbers now the measures of central tendency are median uh, uh, mean median and mode right so i'll explain what these things are so mean is nothing but average we're all familiar with with average okay average is the generic term for the word mean which we use in mathematics right so uh, we we are used to you know st statements like you know what's the average price of the chocolates what's uh, you know the, the average rainfall over the last seven days was three centimeters and you know the average number of uh, I don't know students who um, appeared for a certain exam and you know things like that so average is something which we are very very familiar with the average age average weight and average price you know this is these are terms which you normally use so very simply and intuitively if i bought two products two chocolates priced rupees 10 and rupees 20 what is the average of that okay the average of that is simply 10 plus 20 divided by 2 right so basically we are adding up the prices and dividing it by the number of quantity right so 10 plus 20 is 30 30 by 2 is 15 so the average price of the two chocolates whose respective prices are 10 and 20 is 15 right so we use the same thing here okay but we use a slightly scientific method so mean um, as the average and we donate and uh, we notate it using the letter x bar okay so x with a with a with a bar on top of its head that's the standard mathematical notation this is how it looks x bar let's try to copy this Control C, Control V, right. So this is exactly how X bar is written. Okay. So X bar is the summation of all these numbers. Now, when any data set is given, normally we are interested in how many observations are there in the data set. In this data set, we have five observations, right? Three, six, one, three, five. So the number of observations or the count is mathematically denoted using the letter n okay in our data set therefore your n is equal to 5 in x bar now is summation of this divided by the number of observations 5 let's sum it up 3 plus 6 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 13 plus 5 is 18 so r mean is 18 divided by 5 3.6 all right now the next measure of central tendency is median median is denoted we needed uh, yeah actually you know they write it with the letter md but because median is not widely used normally it is not abbreviated uh, so you can simply write it as median or you can even write it as md right now median basically is only a positional value let's say here we have five observations right we are interested in the middle observation so because we have five observations we are interested in the middle observation in this case that happens to be the third observation right not the third observation as it appears here but third observation you when you arrange it in an ascending order right so first you have to arrange this data set 
in an ascending or increasing order. Let's do that here. Which is the smallest number? One. The next smallest number is three. We can be find the second three. Then you have a five. And then there is a six. Okay. Five uh, numbers. One, two, three, four, and five. Five numbers. And this is the data set. Right. So <clears throat> I told you median is the middle number in this. Now, when there are five numbers, the middle position is three. Right. And the number corresponding to three in this data set happens to be three. And therefore, your median is three. Now, because it was just five data, uh, five numbers in this data set, it was easy to spot that it was the third number. So what, what do you do when you have a larger data set? Let's say, what do you do when you have 80 numbers? You can't simply look at it and determine what's the median, right? So therefore, we have a mathematical formula for this, right? It's, to determine the median, we find the position of the n plus 1 by 2, okay? The position of the value, which is at n plus 1 by 2, right? So basically, in this example, we, we use the formula n is 5, okay? And n plus 1 is 6, and 6 divided by 2, n plus 1 by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and we look at 3, right? And look at the value corresponding to the third uh, value when the data is arranged in ascending order. All right. So now let's say, for instance, if you had uh, 101 observations, we have to pick out the 51st value when you arrange the whole number in an ascending order. Right. That's the concept of median. Now, in this instance, because there are five numbers, right, you could actually pick out the third value. Imagine suppose we had instead of five observations if you had let's say six observations what would you do okay let's say instead of five observations we had six observations let this be the sixth observation let it be um let's say nine okay so in our new data set we have six observations what would the median now be okay According to our formula, you have to find the position, okay, which is given by n plus 1 by 2. n here is 6, the total number of observations, plus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 by 2 is 3.5. Now, we don't have a 3.5 in this uh, array, right? In this distribution, we don't have, have a 3.5. So, basically, what we do is we find the average of those numbers. There is a 3 here, there is a 5 here. So find the average of 3 and 5. So average of 3 and 5 is 3 plus 5 by 2, 4. So the median of this data set, this particular data set here is 4. Okay. It's interesting to note that when you have an odd number of observations, right, in this instance when there are 5, okay, when you have an odd number of observations, the median will be a number which will be part of the data set, right? In this case, 3 is a part of this data set, okay? The median is part of this data set, whereas if the number of observations happen to be even, if you have even number of observations, then your median will not be part of the data set. This 4 is not part of this data set, right? So basically, 4 is average of 3 and 5, which is the middle position 3.5 is the middle position okay so that is a subtle difference which you need to keep in mind now next we look at what is called as mode next measure of central tendency is mode okay mode is nothing but the most repeated value in a data set okay let's look at the original data set so the most repeated value in this data set happens to be 3 because 3 is getting repeated twice okay 3 is getting repeated twice and therefore 3 is our mode okay so mode we don't normally use uh, denote um, you don't it's not denoted by a particular symbol or anything we simply refer to as mode 
um, and so these are the output so you have a mean you have the median we have the mode okay these three values are called the measures of central tendency